In this video, I'm going to show you how to add meta information to the images. And before we start, just a, a brief introduction into what this meta information really is. It's nothing that you can see on your image, but let's say if you have a, a camera, it may add the meta information of the camera type and date and even GPS information to your photo, the photo you're taking. So um, there are basically two ways to store the information. The one is the EXIF and the other is the IPTF. That's, the EXIF is basically the internal way of storing information and the IPTF is the external way so that other applications can also access the information. An example would be uh, WordPress, where we'll be see later how WordPress picks this information up. So just to give you an example, this is the editor I'm mentioning later on, which is the EXIF pilot. It's free and uh, the basic functionality with the free version is all you really need. So if I open up this image, which has, you will see that there are different tags. One is EXIF. EXIF GPS, the IPTC, and they're all empty basically. And I can also add new tags if, if I wanted to. So if I now choose my the image that I've already prepared and look at this, you will see that I've populated the EXIF information like the artist, the copyright, the image description and the comment. All this information is readable within the file so that also Google can understand and basically this will help SEO optimizing not only the image but also your article. But what's more interesting really is that this headline will be picked up by WordPress as the title and this caption here as a caption text within WordPress. So if you put it in here, you have it already. In any case, all this information I'm adding is helping to say optimize my image. So basically what I will do later is I will copy the headline into the alt text, which is the text that the readers of the blind people read. So Google appreciates that you take care of them and add them some information though they know what this image is all about. And then the caption depends on if you want a caption on your image or not but what I will do is I will be copying this information into my description tag of WordPress so I have everything easily ready to be optimized if I just say say okay this information will be saved and everything is fine if I now have a look at this image I got to go down to the properties. And in the details, you can see that there is here the title. I've changed this so you can edit this directly if you want to also. Here's the author and the copyright. In comment, here is what I've put in all in the EXIF. So all this information you're seeing here is only EXIF. You can't really see the other kind of information that I mentioned before, which is the IPTF information. If you wanted to see this, what you have to do, or what you can do, is just right click on the image and open it in any, any text editor. So that's what I'll be doing right now. So here is the file within the text editor. It looks like that there's nothing interesting for us, but look here, there is the information. And if I go further down, here is my additional information. So it is spread over two places or two, three places within the file. But the most important part is that it's readable by any other application, including Google. So if I go further through the text here, the next step would be to upload the image and then say optimize them, which we've partially already done by adding the meta information to the image. Something that I forgot to show you 
is how we add geolocation information. So if we go back to the EXIF pilot and click on this image again, here is the EXIF GPS information. So basically, you select whether you're on the northern hemisphere or southern hemisphere, or if you're west or east. But if you don't know how to get these values, it's pretty simple. So let's go to Google Maps and say I've put in this, this address from, for Madrid and here I see where it is. So if I right click just on this dot, on this small dot, and say what's here, here are the coordinates. But if you want them more precisely, because it doesn't really tell you if you are west, east, northern or whatever, so just click on it and you will have these coordinates exactly here. So if you go back to the EXIF editor, what you basically do is you know this is north and west. Okay, so north latitude and then you edit here and you basically put in here the degrees, minutes and seconds. And the other fields will be populated automatically. And the same with the Western. It's just the same process. The degrees, the minutes and the seconds. And you're done. And you save. You can also add altitude if you wanted to. I know that it's about 640 meters high. So just put it in there and say OK. Why is the geo formation important? In the first place, it simply enriches the photo so that Google will or may compensate you for it. But especially for local businesses, if they have photos or images from their shop or their products or whatever, they could add the geo information to it. And if somebody looks locally for photos, his photos may show up and take them back indirectly to his web page. To save some time I've uploaded the image already so you can see that the file name has been changed and hyphens have been added by uh, WordPress already. This is the title that has been picked up and if I go further down ba uh, basically what was here before I've already changed this, so that was what it was looking like before. I had here nothing, so what I did is I basically copied the title into the alternative text. And I don't want a caption, so I removed it and copied it into the description. And then I simply update. So if I go back to my article, so if I go back to my article, in WordPress and set the featured image, you can see that everything is already pre-populated. So I already have the title, the alt text and the description, which was in the caption before, and set this as featured image. Here we go. So from now on, every time I select this image, I will have all the meta information available not only the information we have seen right there, but also all the additional information. 